decals in Decal Machine 2 have been updated to support a number of new features. For example, emission, including matching to emissive materials, as well as support for transmission, and mixing normals, although mixing normals isn't done automatically at this point. And so, if you have created your own decals in earlier versions of Decal Machine, or if you have bought any decal packs, you need to update those libraries for Decal Machine 2. There are two basic approaches to do this. First bring up the Update Decals panel in the 3D View sidebar. You want to make sure the proper user decal library is selected, or create a new empty one in the Preferences. You then pick the path of the library you want to update. Double check the user decal library, which is the target location where the new decals are added to, is correct. Then update the library, and watch the terminal for progress, if you want. Once completed, the decals will show up in the chosen user library in the Pi menu. And among other things, the decal now has an emission input, which you can find in the shader editor. The second approach to updating your decal libraries, is to do it in place. To do this, I'm copying some old decal libraries I have, to the assets location in decal machine, in Blender's add-ons folder. Back in Blender, pick the location, enable Update in Place, and hit Update again. Note, that while I have moved the old libraries to Decal Machine's assets location, you can update in place anywhere, but you will have to move them over anyway, to actually use the new decals. And just like the info decal earlier, this subset decal now also has emission inputs, one for each material component. But emission support doesn't end there. You may also want to retroactively add emission maps to your decals, which provide more fine-grained control over what parts of the decal is emitting, or what colors. All updated decals at this point just have a one-pixel black emission map. So navigate to a decal of your choice in the file browser. I suggest you create the emission map by editing the normal map. On a new layer, paint in the emission where you want it on the decal. You can use multiple colors if you want. Add a black layer below, and save the result as the emission map. Be careful to not overwrite the normal map though. If you bring in the decal into your scene now, you will be able to increase the emission amount using the adjust tool. Unfortunately, the decal thumbnail gives us no indication that this decal is emissive now. And so what you can do, is use a developer tool to update it. Like so. This tool will update all decal thumbnails in a library. You also have to restart Blender for the updated thumbnails to appear. And there it is. This black light bulb indicates this decal has a proper emission map. But the decal still isn't emitting by default when bringing it into the scene. To make it emissive by default, you need to update the decal blend itself. So load the decals blend file, update the emission amount using the adjust tool, and save the blend again. Then, once more, re-render the decal thumbnails. And restart Blender again, so it can fetch the new thumbs. Looking good. 